This might be one of the weirdest things I've used yet. It's gonna be a really long day. Oh God. We're not calling it hot. Just put in tuna in a jar. I mean, this looks crazy. Wow. Oh no. I'm speechless. Increasingly weird. Is this the craziest thing I've ever done? I think so. I'm Alexis and I'm a chef who's always up for a challenge. Today, the internet has chosen a random appliance for me to make a three course meal out of. Let's see what we have in store. I have no idea what this is. Um, okay, it's a wax warmer. I also don't know what that is. What does one do with a wax warmer? I'm gonna need to do some research. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not feeling great. I know you can melt stuff. I know there's some possibilities, but I'm just really skeptical about how warm or hot this is gonna get. We're trying to cook a meal here, come on. There's this woman on TikTok, Bunny Birdie Gator, who uses a tea light to like cook and do things with. You know, these are electric, it's a little different. I've been so graciously given two jars. This is where the candle goes. This is where wax goes. I think for, you know, ease of cooking, it's gonna make sense to put the jar directly onto the cooktop. Let's call it a cooktop for now. Confidence level one. I mean, I guess I just have to get started. Wish me luck. I'm starting with my appetizer today, which is tomato confit over burrata. Tomato confit is usually done at like 275, 300 degrees Fahrenheit. This, according to my research, only gets to 110 degrees, so we'll see what happens. I like doing this with tomatoes and putting it like over pasta. You can put it on bread. It's like unbelievably good. Okay, so, oops. I'm just gonna pour olive oil over the tomatoes so that they're fully submerged. And you can add any aromatics you want. Use some salt, of course. Add some pepper. Cut some very stubborn garlic, some thyme. Okay, so I think the tomatoes are ready to go. Okay, turn it on. Okay, the lights are on. Confidence level, like, one. I mean, this is warm. I guess you could warm your, like, tea or coffee on it. Can't really make that a meal. Oh god, I guess, I mean, I don't know. This is feeling warmer. I guess we'll just see. See you in many hours, my little confit. Moving on to my tuna. Samin Nostrat, who wrote Salt, Fat, Acid, Heat, does this amazing olive oil poached tuna. And so I thought I'd kind of mimic that with the candle warmer. <laughs> I'm gonna try doing the whole thing in this jar. Obviously the tuna is uh, bigger than the jar, so I think I need to cut it down. Add some salt. What am I doing? This is so weird. Just put in tuna in a jar. <laughs> I'm just gonna put some olive oil again to cover it. And some peppercorns. Maybe a bay leaf or two. Dried pepper. That looks fine. Let me just check. Wow, okay, this is not even warm. Like, there's no heat. Okay, I think I'm gonna cover this in tin foil. You know, I see these little holes and I think some heat could be escaping here. Some heat, it's like <laughs> a pathetic amount of heat. But maybe if I kind of like wrap the whole thing in foil, I think I should do the same with the tuna. It's very graceful, right? Look at that. Okay, so I think I should also enclose the whole thing like a tin foil. You know, as I use this entire roll of tinfoil, I think my confidence is like just, like we're just plummeting. I mean, this looks crazy. Well, <laughs> we're done, we made a meal. I'm just gonna let those go for a really long time. Okay, moving on to the chocolate. <laughs> so I'm just gonna add the chocolate chips directly to the little wax pot. Chocolate melts at body temperature. This gets hotter than body temperature. It's gonna work. We've got some fun freeze-dried raspberries, cacao nibs, flaky sea salt. It's gonna be pretty in about two hours. You guys, I have big news and that is that the chocolate has started to melt. I would say my confidence is at a three. Okay, let's check in on these guys. Tuna is feeling warm at the base, but has a long way to go. Oh my God, okay, waiting for that second. Look at that, wow. Woo. Wow. Okay, all the chocolate chips have melted. I'm gonna put it on my parchment paper. 
you know, just gonna spread it. Okay, I think that looks great. I'm gonna do the same thing with the white chocolate. I feel like I don't need that much because I just wanna do like a little design, so I think it'll go faster. I wanna do one of those designs where you like do the lines of white chocolate over and then use a skewer, a toothpick, something like that to make those like, you'll see. I think my confidence for the chocolate bark is steadily rising. Wow. Oh, okay, this is like definitely not what I envisioned, but that's okay. Oh no, that's not good. <laughs> uh, so the chocolate seemed to have hardened a bit too much before I put the white on, so it just drew a line, which is not the vision, but you know, that's okay. I'm just gonna do some, just, maybe we can like do some white. This is going to like abstract bark. Oh no, oh Oh God, oh God. It's a Pollock. It's like a Jackson Pollock chocolate bark. It's all the rage. Because the chocolate is already hardened, I think I need to warm it back up on the warmer. Let's get in like increasingly weird. Also again, don't do this at home. This feels like a fire hazard. <gasps> ooh, ooh, okay, okay, okay. Yep, yep, this is a great idea. Okay, starting, yep, yeah. okay. Maybe I can do some of the raspberries. Okay, ooh, it's such a delicate process. Okay. Oh god, oh god. Oh no. Oh, oh no, it's melting very fast now. Okay, and some flaky sea salt. You know, I think I'm gonna just stop while I'm ahead here. <laughs> it's not my finest work, but I think it'll totally, totally do. I'm gonna let this harden and then I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wait for a while. Back with the thermometer, I'm gonna check on things. Let's start with the tomatoes. <laughs> it smells amazing. But let's see what the temp is. Oh! I'm honestly shocked right now. Oh my God, 145? Okay. It's still about half the temperature it would need to be if I was doing this in the oven, but that's okay. Just using this as a spoon, it turns out. Um, yeah, tomatoes, they might be warmed, but raw. I'm gonna try one. It is a bit softer. Another hour, two, this might actually be something. Feeling a lot better. <laughs> but I think I just need to be patient. My confidence about these tomatoes right now is like a six. Goodbye. Okay, now the tuna. Look, look at that, look at that. It looks like something's happening here. I would say it's cooking. It's poaching. Oh, that's, that's raw. Okay, the tuna's at about 100 degrees. I, I mean, honestly, I don't know if this is gonna cook through. This might be like the first time that like I don't really have anything to deliver. I'm feeling confidence on the tuna right now. It's like a three. I'll take a three. And you just wait. You know, I think of all the things I've tried to poach over this crazy show, the tuna is the hardest. Tuna in a candle warmer takes the cake. While I'm waiting for the tomato confit and the tuna to, you know, do their thing, I thought I could start on the fennel salad. My idea is that this fennel salad is gonna go along with the tuna. I wanna save the fronds, they're totally edible. And just slice the core out. Got a mandolin here. These are super, 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 super dangerous. So if you're using one at home, make sure you have a napkin or like one of those little glove guards. With a mandolin, don't be a hero. If you can't get this, it's fine, let it go. This fennel salad, super simple. Shave fennel, salt, pepper, lemon zest, lemon juice, fennel fronds. I'm gonna add a little bit of parm too. Some saltiness to balance out the acidity and the crunch. Oops, this is a snack piece you have for yourself. I think I should just check this and see how it's going. Whoa, you guys, it's working. Wow, that is so crazy. I'm speechless. Temp time. 118. I kind of think I should take it out and like see what happens. Oh, this is weird, huh? Uh, it, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I deserve like a trophy, a gold medal an award, like there should maybe should be like a shrine, a statue. Like I just cooked tuna over a candle warmer and it's delicious. I'm so proud of myself. This is crazy. Is this the craziest thing I've ever done? I think so. Yeah, hey, <laughs> I'm really proud of myself. I think I can plate this. I mean, it looks gray. It looks gray. Little bit of parm, the fronds, pepper, salt. Yeah. <laughs>
Amazing, it's amazing. I realize there's still more to do, but this is amazing. I'm gonna put this off to the side and assess the tomato confit situation. Okay, I'm feeling so excited. I'm feeling so jazzed. I feel super confident. I, like if the two, like, it's just, let's just say. Look at that, like if, look at that. Here, this is for comparison. I, I mean, it's amazing. This day has been a roller coaster. So I think I can plate this. Burrata, I'm just gonna open it. Oh my God, it's gonna be so good. Ooh, look at that, look, look at that one. Look at that one. That is like fully soft. No tomato left behind here. I'm flabbergasted. I'm gonna do like a little bit of balsamic. <gasps> it's a little more than I planned on. Some pepper, let's just go crazy. It's just for me. Some salt, okay, some basil. Yum, we love basil. You guys, burrata tomato confit. It looks incredible. It smells even better. I feel I'm like a flying high. I'm like back, I'm a 10. This is great. This is so cute. It's rustic, which I think is the point of chocolate bark. And like, it's it's adorable. Look at, look, it's adorable. I almost don't want to break it, but here we go. Oh my God, little pile of chocolate bark just for me. Oh my God. Oh my God. I mean, you. Have you ever seen something cuter than this tiny, tiny little personal plate of chocolate bark made on a candle warmer? <sighs> I think it's taste test time. When I started today, I honestly thought I was gonna have nothing to serve but chocolate bark. So the fact that there's like a full meal is blowing my mind. It's beautiful, like this is, it's beautiful. I would serve this at a dinner party. Maybe not from a candle warmer. <laughs> I've just been waiting for the burrata. <laughs> I mean, it's amazing. The tomatoes are perfect. The oil all around infused, it's so good. I feel emotional. I feel like I could cry. Like that is so good to the tuna. Mm, it's delicious. I'm so impressed with myself. <laughs> like the tuna is actually so good. It's lovely. It's blowing my mind. This is so, I mean, I'm, I'm like a, a, a broken record. It's so good. It's so good. I mean, chocolate bark, how can this be bad? It's gorgeous. It's cute. It's beautiful. It's chocolate. Mm. Mm, the combination, incredible. This is amazing. This could be one of the best meals I've made. Mm, 10 out of 10. This has been amazing. Let me know in the comments what you would make on a candle warmer. See you next time. Bye guys. Mm.